Hello guys, welcome to Detroit to become human. Bad choices or terrible choices or choices which I didn't make on my first blind playthrough. By the way guys, if you didn't catch my first blind playthrough and you want to uh, check it out, I'll leave uh, the link up there if I remember. But for now, let's carry on making some bad choices. Let's do this. God, we're hostile. Hostile towards Hank. I think this is where he kind of talks to us about his, about his son, doesn't he? Possibly. Oh no, he doesn't. It's that he comes. He talk to Hank. Oh, okay, okay, this way around. Yeah, because there's, there's a kids' park there. Look. So he probably came here for that reason. With his lad. See another sad sad story in itself anyway nice view huh I used to come here a lot before there's no question stop drinking <laughs> just do that you should stop drinking lieutenant it could have serious consequences for your health. That's the idea. Okay. Go back before personal question. I'll probably answer the personal question before, but I don't know. B or A? Which is the worst choice out of that? Go back. It's late. Maybe you should go home. I'm not tired. I guess neither are you. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. Okay, RA9 shock systems software. It could be a software problem that only occurs under certain conditions. Well, that's just a fancy way of saying you have no fucking idea. <laughs> oh, Hank. This is golden. You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls, they just wanted to be together. They really seemed in love. Cold, cold, be cold. Nothing in their program allows them to love or desire anything. They're machines. What about Dogs. you, Connor? You look human. You sound human, but what are you really? I'm. Let's be cold again. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task. Did you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? Letty, how? Uh, let's be cold again. Of course, I didn't feel anything, Lieutenant. I'm a machine. Machines don't have. God, the hang's gonna shoot us at this rate. But are you afraid to die, Connor? No. Let's put no. Why would I be afraid? What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Uh, Hank's anger, ironic, nothing. Let's go Hank's anger. Maybe? Or defy? You know you're not going to shoot me, Lieutenant. You're just trying to provoke a reaction. He's going to shoot him. I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint you. You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. 
Hostile path unlocked. <gasps> Shit. I did not I didn't actually expect that to happen. I said Hank was gonna shoot him, but I didn't think he would actually do that. Wow. Wow. Uh, just a machine, achievement unlocked. Right, so Hank shot Connor. Oh my god. So I've killed Hank twice so far. I saw this playthrough. So someone said on a on a comment that you get an achievement if you shoot him if you if you kill Connor twelve times on a single playthrough. Twelve times or something like that. It was twelve times. Well, that was a shocker. Um, there's a few there we still haven't got. Let's continue, guys. This is a bit mental now. Bad choices. Oh, oh yes. Is this when you? I can't remember. I can't remember this one. We're not. We're, we're neutral. We're hostile with Josh. I thought so. He was a real peaceful. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. I feel like I'm moving this game quite quickly this time. I didn't realize that we're this far into it. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. All right, so we got to try to get through the uh, Request access at reception. Oh, look at that lovely place. Right. Again, we're not going to go looking at everywhere because we've done all that before. Um, Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay. Thanks. So, okay. So, yes, of course. We've got to distract the human. I thought we said something about her kids last time. Obviously, we'll say something different this time. In fact, I wonder if there's something we can sort of, um, where she won't go. Do I do the, oh, what's this? Oh, Elizabeth Wilson, okay. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. I just noticed that. She'd, oh, parking, Scott, should we go uh, fire department? Yeah, hello, this is Detroit Fire Department. Listen, do you live at 4685 Michigan Street? Yes. Uh, yes, ma'am, there's been a fire in your building. You think you can come down here? Oh, oh, God. Okay, uh, I'll be right there. I think either one, either one of those, she would go. I thought the fire might make her a bit more nervous. All right, well... I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. Evil Marcus in it now. I'm just thinking about this black eyes. Just checked your ID. 
The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. I think it did, think it did have a black eyes. It was just like a, the camera. But the, uh, the, you know, the graphics or something. But it definitely looked like it had black eyes. Can we go in the other lift? No, oh, okay. Uh, you going up? I'll do it, I'll get there in the end. So again, on the last one, I'm just trying to think what happened. There was a quite. This is a quite a big one, if I remember last time, if I remember rightly. This is a quite a big one, and then we left Simon behind. Uh, right. What do we have to do? Um, access the server room. Okay. I can't remember where the server room was. Was that here? Was it here? Uh, maybe it wasn't. <laughs> um, find package in men's bathroom. All oh, right, sorry. Okay, men's bathroom. Yes, it's all coming back to me now. <laughs> See, that's how bad my memory is. I think I only played just like a month ago, and I've forgotten already. It was a where was the bloody bathroom? Oh, here we go. It says bathroom. Okay. Cleaning on, cleaning in progress. Oh, if we look at each other, we, we got black eyes? No, just normal, normal markers. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. I was looking on Amazon actually. You can buy um, all the Android kind of co cosplay stuff. If that kind of thing, you know. That sort of thing uh, floats your boat. Right, so we need to find the utility at Android. So one was in this room, wasn't it? Still mention it's car. Is this a door here? Can I go for this door? I don't think this is a door, is it? No, of course it's not. Why haven't you got a Oh that's a door here, isn't it? How <laughs> did I not see that? I thought that was a pane of glass. Bloody hell. Okay. Okay, open open the fire escape. Where was the fire escape? Was it? I can't remember where the fire escape was. Fire escape. Right, there's a server room. We can't go in there yet. I'm thinking that was the one from over here, wasn't it? Oh, there we go. It's over there. Okay. Okay, follow north. Yeah, she's going to get her own way on this playthrough, I tell ya. She will. Josh will not be happy at all with us. We need 
to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. So the last time we went to that vendor machine, can we talk to him? Hey, you still play poker? Sure. Why? Now we can't do anything with them anyway. Okay, I guess we'll do this again. Does it need two of you to fix that machine? Really? All right, you get the platform. I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Right. Shall we check the window? Shall we check the door? Or not? Or I won't lock it. Um, I wonder if we can kill the person this time. That wind says cut windows. Maybe you have to... Ah. Uh. I couldn't have locked the door last time, thinking about it. I'm sure I would have done. But anyway, someone will come in, and I wonder if we got a chance to kill him. What the hell are you doing? Alibi, game time, draw gun. Turn around. Holy shit! to make sure no one else got it. All right, we gotta move fast. Won't be long before they know we're here. Okay. What a tool, though. A laser cutter in your hand. Yeah, I think when we when Connor comes to this building, that's when we got a lot of choices. Ladies first. What well, are you a lady? Or, or are you just an it? I wonder if we can fall off here. I don't think we can, can we? No, I don't think we can. Just gotta go up. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, I can hardly see him. Reminds me of when I saw these people climbing up um, a place called Al Capitan in Yosemite Park, and you can hardly see them. Oh yeah, we got cut a hole. Don't cut anything else off. <laughs> Although he doesn't need it. Or maybe he does need it. Make little android babies, I don't know. You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Right, core service left, right. Right, boys. So we lose, we lose Simon here, don't we? But on the last... Let's do this. On the first playthrough, we let him live and just left him. Suppose we can bring him with us this time? Or shoot him? I 
think shooting him would be a bad choice. Right, deal with the guards. No killing. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? We have to assault them. Follow me. Oh, God. What are you doing? Call Central! Fast! Central, we got armed intruders! Sent! This is horrible, dude. They know we're here now. We better be fast. Reach broadcast room, okay. Was that blood on the wall? Oh my goodness, there's blood on the wall. Wow, this is definitely going the more violent route, isn't it? Joy did that last time as well. Order the android operations aside, right? So, is that one over there? Okay, let's do this. Shoot him, Marcus! Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! Shoot. No! God, I hate doing this. No. There was no other choice. Yeah, there's no choice. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Stand in front of Josh. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Right. Marcus, your face. So when if we can be aggressive in our speech? I can't remember the options. Ready. Ready. Erica respected. Calm, determined. You created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient and docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. Recognition, end of slavery, equal rights, freedom of speech. Don't know, should we go into slavery? I can't remember. I don't think we have a, I don't think it matters on this bit. Recognition. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. Uh, end of slavery. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. Justice. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. Uh, segregation, work, civil rights. Maybe segregation? We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. Right of property means of reproduction and territory. Which should we go means of reproduction? We demand control of all Android production facilities to ensure the continuation of our people. And Pete determined. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. They're oh coming. God! Let's go! Well, I don't know whether the outcome 
Oh, this is the same, apart from Simon. Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus. Go without me, Simon! Right, should we just leave him? This is, again, a bad choice. Sorry, it's just a bad choice. I would normally get him. I've gone down with Jericho. Oh, Simon! There was nothing you could do. If we don't go now, they'll get us too. Remember, I'm doing choices which I wouldn't normally do, and it's and the bad choice out of the two, so. Love it. There we go. interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. Found the bodies of two victims, a guard and one of our channel operators, both apparently shot dead by the terrorists in what apparently seems to be we are hated. attack. These events took place ah. just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. Their extravagant demand that android production plants be put under their control is especially is this striking. Is an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust Trust our machines. Mm, I don't think you can trust Marcus. Mm, I think we've got most things there. I think we have got most things. There's a few things we haven't got. It's a bloody long one again, isn't it? Look at that. Bloody mental. The further in the game we go, the f oh God, there's one here which we haven't done. Or maybe that was we, or maybe that was we took Simon and then we killed him, maybe. But all the rest of them, there's one there. God, there's still a few, but... Let's continue, guys. Bad choices. Right. Okay. So, I, I, um, for some reason, I thought we would be with Kara next, but I guess we're going to be investigating the the tower where where uh, Marcus just was. So, I'm assuming Amanda's going to be fairly happy with us because we've been very, very cold. And machine like. Let's see what she has to say. Hello, Amanda. How are you today? Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Yes. All right. Why can't I get in here, guys? What's happening? Hey. Right. Something's wrong here. I think there's a bug. Maybe I could. Oh, I did. It works. That's, that's weird. Amanda trusted. Oh, I've got to keep doing it, do I? I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Is it real? Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? Um, let's talk about Hank. I'm having difficulties with Lieutenant Anderson. He just shoots me for no reason. He's unstable. Even hostile. He shot me in the head last night. I should do. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Be cold. The investigation is more challenging than I anticipated. But I have no doubt that I will solve this case and stop the deviants. Software instability is going down. Your what? investigation doesn't make progress soon. 
I may have to replace you, Connor. Come on. Conflicted. I'm confident that I will do this. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. All right. Why did you shoot me last night? Who cares? You're back this morning, aren't you? Some fragments of memory are lost every time I'm destroyed. It slows down the investigation. My humblest apologies. I promise I'll never shoot you again. <laughs> Thank you, Lieutenant. At least, was, at least he apologized for it, which is a good thing. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's butting their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They knocked one out and shot the other in cold blood. Oh, look at that. Station employee. Shot through the back as he was trying to get away. One bullet straight through the heart from 50 feet. Now that's the kind of shooting only an android could do. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. One of the deviants, SWAT took it out. It's a pity they couldn't manage to capture it alive. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. Okay, let's have a look then. Let's, um, let's go see Simon then. As in... Oh, there's Perky Perkins. Oh, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI will be taking over the investigation. You'll soon be off the case. Well, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. So, oh, I don't know. I don't know if you guys have seen um, or played Beyond okay, Beyond Two Souls. Now, someone made they did a comment on one of my videos. And he said, and I didn't even think about it, it was obvious now. You know Stan in Beyond Two Souls? That is Perky Perkins. It's obvious now, but yes. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive and we demand our freedom. Think that's RA9? Deviants say RA9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Okay. You see 
something? I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. But even Hank, the acting in here is phenomenal, this game. All right, so, um... So inspect the broadcast room and check the rooftop. Let's go and see Simon. I haven't seen him before in this position. Am I dead? A little bit bad killing him, but... Wounded even was shot. Yeah. All right, well, let's um, inspect the broadcast room. Oh, let's, just, let's just go. Should we just go to the rooftop? Let's see if we can. I don't know if we still got to the broadcast room or not, or we can just bypass it all. But take your time. Take your time, Connor. Now this is something I didn't do. On the last Made their way up through the whole building, past all the guards, and jumped off the roof with parachutes. Pretty fucking impressive, I'd say. How'd they manage to smuggle in a big bag like that? They didn't. Someone brought it in for them. Oh, so we still have to question those deviants then. That was deviant, you know, that were the three guards, the three security guards. There was one of them, which was a deviant. Partially covered by snow, the Stratford maintenance footwear. Only three deviants jumped. Oh, some else over here. What the hell is over here? What could this be? Oh, the guns. Thought they would have kept them. Okay, I suppose we got a, a ledge to look at. Right, is the rooftop done? It's about the rooftop, so we've got more to do. Talk to these guys? Talk to Hank? No? Hmm. What else that could that be up here? I can't see anything else. I don't know whether we just go down and it just finish. It just says, "Yeah, you've done it." Now we got to analyze that. All right, okay. Wireless security lock recently hacked. Even hacked the door to block it. Okay. So we still need to interrogate those, I don't know if they're security guards or they were like um, maintenance men. Maintenance uniform.
Search was shot from here. Quite perky. Deviant didn't break in. Yes. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. He knows. stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Right, so interrogate the androids. Right, let's do this a bit better this time. Let's not... Well, we could get shot again. I don't think it really matters. We know it's the one on the left, isn't it? All right, boys. Look for a reaction to spot in the Deviant. This guy kept looking at us. Function? What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Um, diagnostic? Run a diagnostic. That's weird. All that systems is. fully operational. I mean, let's let it change the range. Memory. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Witness. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Have you been in contact with any other androids? Yeah, the recently? eyes. Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. Right. Do we just go guilt? Guilt. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. Come on, just, just threaten that one. Deal, deal. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Threaten. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed! Do you hear me? Destroyed! Oh, here we go. Guys, let's not cognizant at this time. Oh, right, it still, happen it still happens. Ouch. Ouch. So, can we not escape that then? Right, so we get our, let's get our heart back in again. So last time we saved Hank. So I think this time we have to just shoot the guy. Oh, wrong button. Oh, <laughs> God's sake. Come on, grab it. I don't know if that was it. If there was another outcome here, or you were going to get stabbed anyway, nonetheless. Stop. It's a 
Deviant, stop it! Right, so... Let's attack that one then. Oh, he shot himself in the face, in the head. Oh. Connor! Connor! Are you okay? I tried to stop it, but... I was too late. Yeah, so I think last time I went for Hank last time. Public opinion has gone down again. All right. Public enemy. God, there's still so much, isn't there? There's still so much. Investigate the broadcast room. Um, oh, there's stuff here. Investigate the corridors. I didn't even do bloody hell. Investigate the rooftops. Oh, there's stuff locked there, which we didn't do. I think asked if Simon was up there. Um... But there was another thing as well. Hank, okay, there's something else here. So I don't know, there's two more outcomes here. It's crazy, really, how many outcomes there are in this game. Anyway, guys, I'm going to have to leave that video there. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope, to, hopefully, hopefully I'll see you on the next episode. Until then, take care.